Luke chapter 4, verse 1. Then Jesus, full of and controlled by the Holy Spirit, returned from the Jordan and was led in by the Holy Spirit, where during 40 days and nights in the wilderness, where he was tempted and tried, tested exceedingly by the devil. Now, this says that the Holy Spirit led Jesus into that situation where he was going to be tempted and tried by the enemy. Now, I'm sure that doesn't make a lot of sense to us, but, you know, sometimes God will allow us to be in a situation because he wants us to have a victory that we can put in our belt that will become valuable to us later on. See, I've been through stuff in my life, and you've been through things in your life, and I've, I've had some victories, and I've seen the power of God work in my life. So I'm not nearly as afraid of the enemy as what I might have been 40 years ago because I've seen God work. Come on, come on. That's why I said last night, you don't have to be afraid of trouble. We don't have to be afraid of difficulty and hard times. We're anointed for hard. Did you hear me? We are anointed for hard. We have the power of the Holy Spirit in us. We don't have a spirit of wimpy and timidity and, you know, I can't, it's too hard. <laughs> no, we can do whatever we need to do, and whatever God asks us to do, he gives us the strength and the grace to do it. Let me tell you something. You, you may be raising a hard-to-manage child. Well, you know what? If you've got that child, God's going to give you the grace to do what you need to do, but you need to be careful about your words and stop going around saying, this is too hard, I can't do this, it's driving me crazy, I don't think I can do it. No, you say, I can do what I need to do through Christ. So Jesus is there in this difficult situation and the devil starts talking to him. <laughs> Verse three, then the devil said to him, <laughs> Yep, then the devil said to him, if you are the son of God, one of the things the enemy likes to do is try to make you think, well, who do you think you are? Who do you think you are, Joyce, to stand up there and tell people to take authority over the devil? Well, who do you think you are? Well, you don't have any degree from any Bible college. Who do you think you are? I'm anointed by God to teach the word. I'm his child, I'm called by God, and God's anointing gives me the authority that I need to do what I'm doing. And, but see, you, I want you to believe the same thing about whatever it is that God wants you to do in your life. We're qualified by God, not degrees, 